Lorena is on the line in Arkansas. Hi, Lorena. How are you? Hi, Dave. Thanks for taking my call. Sure. My husband and I are happily retired. We have two lifetime incomes each and living very well. Last year, uh, we sat down and created a budget, and that's been doing really well for us. Uh, Uh, We've got some medical uh, debt, and having just started listening to your broadcast about four weeks ago, I sat down with our budget and kind of scraped it a little bit and showed my husband, if we do this, this, and this, we can have all those medical bills paid off in three months. Wow. And he said, let's do it. So we'll be debt free in three months. Good for you. And I'm calling because we live in a lovely home that we want to stay in for the rest of our lives. And we have no children to which we would want to leave that house. I was wondering about the wisdom of a reverse mortgage so that we could use that money ourselves. Well, uh, no, they're not wise uh, because the terms of them uh, are are punitive. They're about 3% higher on interest than regular mortgages, which is ridiculous. Um, You cannot borrow but between 50 and 60% of your value back against your house and the biggest problem is is that one in five people who take out a reverse mortgage 20 percent of them go into default um, and you end up losing the house so i never recommend them i think they're a really bad plan Um, i like the idea of you getting a hold of that equity and enjoying it um, but i think you probably are going to have to make the choice if you're going to be wise between the house or the enjoyment of the equity. Uh, Personally, I would stay in the house and, you know, you know, save my money. And uh, after you get this debt paid off and do some things with the cash flow that you have, uh, I would not do that. Do you have a nest egg other than the home and the, uh, the pensions that you have coming in? Uh, yeah, we have about 2,500 in the safe for emergencies. And we have about um, uh, 10 or 11,000 and a 401k I haven't touched. Okay. All right. So you don't have substantial monies there. And what is your home worth? About 260, maybe 270. And it is paid for? No, it's got about 170,000 left on it. Mm, okay. Well, I think it's just you decide whether you want to live there or not. That's what I would do. But no, I would not. You don't have enough equity to do a reverse mortgage to amount to anything. You might get a little bit out of it, but you're going to put what you have in danger when you do that. And the fees and the interest rates are just ridiculous. They're really, really a bad idea. So I never recommend reverse mortgages. I want you to get you out of debt instead of into debt uh, as a way to stabilize your retirement. In your case and other folks' case, as a way to build wealth and stabilize their retirement. So... Sorry, but I'm going to tell you, don't do that. Please, please don't do that. Thanks for the call. Guys, there are some financial products that are out there that are bad financial products. They're just bad. They're not good for you. They make the company money, and they don't make you money. Whole life life insurance, car leases, credit cards. The benefits do not exceed the risks and the payment and the fees that you pay out, and reverse mortgages are one of those. Gold coins, Bitcoin. So, I mean, if you're watching cable news, and between the Snuggy commercial and the walk-in bathtub, you see an old actor advertising something that is a financial thing, that means stay away from it. And, the, and you can just name them. They're right down the list there. Gold coins, reverse mortgages. I mean, we've got Tom Selleck or Henry Winkler pushing those. Thanks, guys. Bad idea. Shouldn't be doing that. It's not a good product. They are bad products. The company that Tom Selleck endorses has had numerous fines levied against them. 
for uh, false advertisement, for ridiculous. Uh, the Federal Trade Commission has been all over them. And so that, you know, it tells you what's going on. I'm not saying Tom Selleck's a bad guy. I don't know Tom or Henry. Don't know either one of them. I assume their agent booked them to put, to do a commercial, and they did the commercial, and they thought no more about it than that. But when you do the math and you know what I know about those products, they're bad products. Stay away from them.